Hello everybody, welcome to episode 1 of Sports Talk with Lightning in 2015. I am Lightning. Unfortunately, I had to miss all 2014 because I have been dealing with a lot of issues and demons. Alright, so, first off I want to talk about the infamous deflate gate. Actually, I gotta hurry up because I gotta head into work pretty soon and shop, right? So, the recent deflate gate with the New England Patriots, well, of course, they're the Patriots, they always cheat. You know, I think Roger Goodell should go in there, shoot the living bejesus out of the Patriots, fire Tom Brady, Belichick the coach, pretty much everybody on there. Because, hell, yeah, they've always cheated. You know, Spygate and everything else that they've done. Even though they had almost a perfect season, ended with Super Bowl Forty Two loss to the Giants. Glad of that. Um, here's what I think should happen. They should sue, Goodell should sue the Patriots, a whole bunch of cash, then have the Colts and Ravens play a game, and then that, the team who wins, should represent the AFC instead of the Patriots, I think. Hopefully the Ravens will, if that would happen, I'm sure the Ravens would win, because the Colts didn't really do well so good with luck against the Ravens. So, that's my opinion. Alright, and also this year, or last year, the Orioles went to the postseason. We lost to the Royals, which sucks. Um, this year, we actually lost our good friend Nick Markakis to the Braves. I don't know why he went there. Apparently, he was the first Aberdeen Ironbird to go to the Orioles. So, you know, that was a big step for him. Speaking of Iron Birds, when I used to work for the Aberdeen Iron Birds with the flight crew, I remember a young catcher. His name was Caleb Joseph. Now he is the infamous catcher for the Orioles, one of them at least, until Mark K- or Matt Weiders comes back. Um, so also we lost Nelson Cruz. I am very sad to hear that because I French had a thing like all aboard the Orioles bus. You know, it has cruise control. Ha ha ha, that was my little joke. Um, Plus also, NASCAR has big 2015 plans. They are not bringing back the infamous uh, souvenir haulers anymore. I don't know why. They just have a big open fan experience where you can buy stuff. So that's going to be a little change in 2015 for all you NASCAR fans. So... With that being said, i got to get the hell out of here pretty soon. This has been Sports Talk with Lightning. Please, I want you to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I do have my band designs page, which is Rams with Duct Tape Artwork, and my DJ um, page. So, please follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash pages slash band designs for the Duct Tape Company. And also, facebook.com slash pages slash all under case one word, DJ Lightning 34283. That is my Facebook page that I've had my duct tape artwork and my DJ company. Um, follow me on Twitter at duct tape man3. The D, T, and M in Duct Tape Man is capitalized. Also, I do have a DJ page on Twitter. It is DJ underscore Lightning 34. Um, follow me on Instagram at Duct Tape Man 3. I, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. I have to double check and post it in the comments. Um, so that has been Sports Talk with Lightning, first edition of 2015. Hopefully, I can bring more episodes to you guys. Um, so if I don't, if I'm not back on, hopefully next week, hopefully by, um, right after Super Bowl, um, so, as I said, I am sorry that I have not been on last year, I've been going through a lot, and hopefully this year will be a big change, so, this has been Sports Talk with Lightning, have a good night guys, bye.